How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to find out your body fat percentage. So you will see a lot of times that people will be completely off with their body fat percentages and generally speaking 99% of the time most people say they are actually leaner than what they are you guys. So what is a great example to find out what is your true body fat percentage? A great example, I know a lot of people know this already, is to go by your abs. But here's another important thing that I will tell you guys that you should keep in mind. So with your abs, most people will say, you know, if you can see the top two abs without flexing, then you're probably around 10% body fat. If you can see all six abs without flexing, you're around 8-9% body fat. Um, and then again, if you can see partial abs, then you're knowing maybe you're 12, 14% body fat, whatever. Here's why this is wrong and why you can't always rely on your abs. The reason for this is because everyone stores body fat percentage differently. Some people like me, for example, I don't hold a lot of fat in my abs, you guys. I can get to a high body fat percentage and still have very lean abs. Where do I store my body fat? In my back and my fucking glutes, you guys. That's where you see the body fat percentage. So when you guys are trying to figure out the body fat percentage, you're trying to know when you should bulk or cut and you see you see your abs and you're like, wow, I have visible six pack abs. You know, I'm probably at least 8% body fat. Sorry about that, boys. So you think, oh, I'm at least 8%, 9% body fat. In reality, you're probably 14 to 15% body fat. Again, when you're calculating your body fat percentage, a very easy and simple way, again, is yes, to go by your abs. But really understanding how your body works is going to be the key. So this is what I'm going to say. If you have first started to train and you're probably around anywhere from a zero years of training to two years of training. Whatever you think your body fat percentage is, add 4%, at least four to 5%. If you've been training between five to 10 years, whatever you think your body fat percentage is, add at least 2% minimum. So many people, so many people think they are sub 10% body fat, when in reality they are probably 14, 15% body fat Easily, you guys, easily. What does a true 10% body fat look like? You are absolutely shredded out of your mind. So many people think just because you get a little bit of ab de definition that you're automatically 12% body fat, 11% body fat. Completely wrong. Genetics play a huge role as well into determining what your body fat percentage is. Some people may have awful genetics. Some people may be have no veins at all, no definition, and they could still be sub 10% body fat. On the other hand, there may be someone who has insanely shredded veins, just veins popping everywhere, and they may only be 9-10% body fat. But in reality, some people may think they're like 7 or 6% body fat. So what I'm going to say here, again, anywhere from a beginner to two years, add 4 to 5% of what you think your body fat percentage is. Uh, if you've been training 5 to 10 years, add 2%. Uh, genetics, keep in mind, genetics play a huge role in knowing where you're, knowing how your body fat is. Um, some people, again, veins, uh, how much water you hold, everything is based on your genetics. So everybody's body fat percentage, what some person looks like and another person, they could look pretty similar but have completely different body fat percentages that could vary by at least three to four percent. And again, people don't factor into water either. Water how much water you have, how much carbs you have, what your glycogen levels are, all that plays a picture when you're taking that picture. The best way to find out what your body fat percentage is is to get a DEXA scan or a, a water scan where they submerge you underneath water and uh, they measure your body fat, you guys. So those are the two ways of doing it or a bod pod as well. Uh, those I think are a hundred bucks. So those are the true only way to go about it. DEXA scan in my opinion is one of the most accurate and um, that is what I would do in my opinion. So again, 
Just because you see a little bit of ab definition, just keep in mind that your genetics and how you store body fat percentage doesn't necessarily mean you're that lean, you guys. So again, I have visible six pack abs when I'm flexing. I would still say I'm around 12, 13% body fat just because I hold a lot of fat in my back and my ass, and my ass you guys. So end the video, hopefully I did help you guys out. If you truly wanna know your body fat percentage, get a DEX scan. And uh, yeah, end the video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already and please like the video. Peace.